live, deep in the heart of West Texas. It's the James Hendricks Show, the SIB, the Hendricks Center for Advanced um, Excellence in, in, in uh, Conservative Federalism. Guys, this republic is not for sale. I don't care what anybody says, you know. This republic is not for sale. But sometimes I feel with some of the powers that be and big tech and the like. <laughs> to some of them it is for sale. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the news and I'm gonna put on my public affairs assaulting uh, consulting cap. Here. Why don't we go to Newsmax? Here's the first one. Some colleges begin rethinking student debt. Now that's a good story to begin thinking about. That's a good story to begin thinking about because seriously, they should be rethinking. South College and Ohio State University are the latest college offering new programs that would relieve some of the financial burdens some students face. In the fall of next year, the above-mentioned schools will take money from their philanthropy funds and offer students more aid and grants. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Let me tell you something. I, f I think it's sad. As someone who is a victim of selling me, and forced to do that because of the high cost of uh, re really my tuition was paid for in college it was really the high cost of living that caused me to uh, go into debt and if you ask me I really think student loans should be discovered, discouraged and I think that there needs to be more grants, more incentives. But, sadly, the Department of Education, through Sally May, has all of you will just give these kids student loans. And they may pay them back. They may pay them back. It's nothing to help them, you know. It really makes it feel like education in our republic really since the 1960s has been sold to the highest bidder. It shouldn't be that way. Shouldn't be that way. I'd be willing to go and speak at any college or university Discouraging kids from taking out loans. You know, think, think grants, think work study, scholarships. Look for other possibilities. And I also think, I also think that parents need to be um, re-educated. But see, that's the problem in our in our entitlement mentality. You know, I have to agree with that with Rush Limbaugh and Dave Ramsey that that's not always that good. Now, I know Robert Robert Kiyosaki. I, I love Robert Kiyosaki. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> I can't sing debt's prices because unless it's you know, like he said, you know, debt that creates an asset, but you got to be able to learn to uh, manage such things. Here's the next story from this, Max. Dole honored at home as greatest 
of greatest generation. Do you guys ever hear about that poem that, that Joe Biden read at Bob Dole's funeral? You should look at the news clips on, on, on Newsmax or anywhere else. It's it just sound like Joe Biden was angry. I don't think the man is cognizant as to why he read that at a funeral. I mean, I, I listened to it and I was just in dis disbelief. Now, granted, Biden and Dole, they were colleagues. They were colleagues. He, I mean, I think it was okay if he wanted to speak at Dole's funeral, but I think that the poem could have been omitted. You know, that's just, just something to think about. Now here's here's another story from Newsmax uh, here. Biden blames Trump uh, arm of GLP for political uh, incivility on Tonight Show. Oh, really? Can, can you guys believe this? Oh, it's the Trump arm. Looks like we may have audio. We do, I think. This is his first time on a late night program. As the sitting president, please welcome President Joe Biden. Yeah. Cringe, cringe, cringe. Hey, Jimmy, how are you, man? <laughs> Here, you, you passed your infrastructure bill. Uh, this is a big deal. Pass. What are, what are some changes that Americans can expect? We're going to replace all the lead pipes in America that are causing people to get sick get cancer and kids to be able to drink clean water. We're going to make sure that we have everywhere in the country, rural and urban and suburban. Stop the tape. Connection. But the big thing is going to do is going to create millions of jobs. Stop the tape. <laughs> really? Oh. Those, 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 those Trumpers, those GOP, they're trying to get in the way of Clean water. <laughs> Give me a freaking break. Let's listen to some more. I can get it to work, maybe. And it's going to change the quality of life for an awful lot of people around the country. So I, I, I had this song come out. Uh, it's called It Was a Mass Christmas this week with Ariana Grande. And Megan the Stallion, you were nice enough to tweet about it. Tis the season to get boosted. This is amazing that the president did this. I, I'm, I'm so excited that you did this. It changed everything. All these radio stations want the song now. They're playing the song. Really? How come I had nobody to talk about it around here? The mood of the nation right now is let's go Brandon. Let's, it's not, it's not let's get boosted. <laughs> oh, you Trumpers, you're, you're so difficult. You're so difficult. Let's listen to this dude some more. Maybe. Get your booster. The bottom line is that the way to avoid this virus is to get two shots and then get the booster shot. It's available. We have the medicines available. It will make a gigantic difference. And even if you don't care so much about yourself, think about your kids, your brother, your sister, your co-worker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't listen to any more. It sounds like something from the old Bill Clinton playbook in 1993. Well, let's think about this. Hillary Clicker. Shall we go back? December 12, 1993.
Now, you see, Al, this is something you need to know. They're going to have to support health care. I want the American people to know that Hillary's health care initiative is, is, is a good idea. They don't, I mean, look, look, these politicians, they don't, they don't need to be just thinking about themselves. That's the problem. They need to be thinking about the children. You know, I think about Chelsea. You know, she, she's 13 years old. I want her to have the best quality health care. And, and Hillary's been investigating this for a year now, and we need to work on it. Well, of course, Mr. President. I don't see why not. I mean, you, you passed, you passed NAFTA, you passed a, for re religious freedom, <laughs> you, you've passed the Brady Bill, they have to support health care for the benefit of the children, Al, for the benefit of the children, that's what I tell everybody. <laughs> Stay tuned next time for Yonder Year. White House really behind the scenes. These Trumpers, they don't care. They don't care about the children. <laughs> I know I'm going to make some people angry. I'm going to make some people mad, but you know what? It has to be said. What about the children? What about the children that are being that, that are yet unborn? Don't they have the same rights of protection? What about the children? Should they really be subjected to all these vaccine deals? When, in my opinion, they don't really have that. The, now look, I've I've been vaccinated. I got I got the two to do the two jabs. I'm reserving my judgment on the booster. Because I honestly think that the media, the, the liberal corporate media machine, is trying to jam, cram jam the vaccines through. And the only way I could see myself doing that is if I, if I was persuaded by somebody on my case-by-case -case vaccine to take the booster, then I'll take the booster. But I'm not going to go gentle into this, okay? You shouldn't mandate. The government shouldn't mandate what you put in your body. And, and, and Biden, shame on you. Some of you never Trumpers that are there for this mandate, sh these mandates, shame on you. This republic is not for sale. Now, I hope you've enjoyed listening to The James Hendricks Show. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of receiving most daily updates. Please program or note, I will be out of town on the 13th, 14th, and 15th. We'll return to full programming on the 16th. Take care, and God bless you.